Hello and welcome to Karine and Company. Today we're going to do belly button therapy. And what we decided to, to clear today for you is um, excessive thinking, emotional holds that we have whenever we lay down and relax or whenever we sit down for coffee or we have a quiet moment. And then we replay what happened at work, what happened at home, what this person said, why they did this. So before we begin, remember you can put your finger in your belly button over your clothing or under your clothing, it makes no difference. What we have, what I have here is solanite. I love solanite. I turn them into little solanite wands and totems. So I like those to go onto the heart chakra as we clear. So if you have any stone you love, add that. If you have an oil that you love, add it. It will use everything. Of course, I'm a dowser, so I'm going to be using a pendulum. I'm going to be connecting with our chakras above and below. And we're going to ask that our, set our intention that anything since childhood that we felt was unfair, unjust, unkind, as you breathe in and you hold and you're lowered onto you and be below your umbilicus, you hold five seconds and then you take a really nice, long, slow exhale. We're gonna ask our healing committees, our spiritual committees, our guides, our angels, that they be of the highest vibration of the light and of universal knowledge and fairness. We're gonna ask they go into our Akashic records, our genetic coding, our cellular memory, and any cell programming that no longer serves for the highest good of your soul. And as you take that breath in and release, it's gonna help clear your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul, and your ancestors. Sometimes we just hang on to too many things that are hidden, buried, covered up, a lot of lies, a lot of deception, and that's what causes our anxiety, our nervousness, our worry, and our stress. We need to learn how to just be in our body and be okay with what's going on in our world. So anytime you feel you need to clear an emotion and you don't have time to watch the video, I'm going to do one for you right now. We're going to clear anxiety. So you're just going to take your head, and I'm going to turn sideways, and you're just going to clear anxiety. I like you to hold your heart chakra and you just clear the word anxiety. And then you take a nice breath into that lower dantian, give it a few seconds, and release. If you don't feel some type of physical release over this body, then you need to sit a little more comfortable and clear again. Maybe you're worried. Clear all worry. You take a breath. You hold and you let go. Your body, your central nervous system, your fight and flight, should start feeling a little calmer. If you don't get it right the first time, keep practicing. Give yourself permission to heal. Sometimes we have programs running that we don't want to heal. I'm going to ask this. I'm going to ask your body, are you open to healing? Some of you out there are not. So I'm going to say on a soul level, <laughs> each and every one of you listening, just take a breath in. And as you exhale, you are open to healing, you are open to knowing, you are open to releasing any trapped emotions, thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that no longer serves for your highest good. Keep your nice little breathing. I'll let you know when we are clear. What am I looking for? I'm looking for 100%, and I have 80%, so we're going to check it in a minute. Any daily events that you keep relooping through your mind, reprogramming, sometimes they're like chains in our thought, just take a breath in. If you've been dealing with some injustices that cause you to overthink, breathe in a lot of love and forgiveness, and then exhale a lot of love and forgiveness. Good. You can do this for every thought, every worry, every emotion that keeps you looping the same thoughts over and over. Some of us do it, you know, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. I give you permission to stop. It's pretty simple. I'm going to teach you in this video. So a lot of times we have past events. Sometimes they're traumatic. Sometimes it's just words people have said to us. Sometimes it's just actions that seem unjust and unfair. I don't care what it is. You breathe in. We're going to set our intentions, whatever that moment in time was that caused us disharmony, pain, suffering, and sadness, we let it go. 
we're going to take another breath in. We're going to visualize what that emotion was, what that feeling was, what that person may have said or done to us. And then we're going to breathe in love, and then we're going to exhale forgiveness. Not only for that person, but for us as well. Because sometimes we judge too much. Sometimes we create things bigger than they are. But it's because as humans, we're trying to be loved, appreciated, respected, and admired. But sometimes there's so much trauma and disharmony in many people's lives that they cannot give that to us. So I'm teaching you how to give it to yourself. Once you realize that how you think, how you feel, how you um, live your day to day, that what you feel and think of yourself is so much more important of those who think about you. You finally get your personal power back. Anywhere you are, any time of day, if there's an injustice, all you have to do is set your intention that with your healing committees, your guides, your angels, your high self committee, your spiritual committees, any wounds you may have internally, externally, that as you breathe in and you hold for a second or two and you exhale, that just means you need them to help you let go of the control that you've given to so many people over you. It's not necessary. It, yeah, we it, life day in and day out, we do care what people think about us, but some of us give so much of our emotional power to them because they're old wounds from childhood that we're actually asking to be cleared right now. As you breathe in, I'm gonna go in and ask you, your body to let go of some of the trauma, some of the heartache, some of the sadness, some of the rejection that we felt as a child, whether we inherited it genetically, cellularly, or emotionally from our mother or our father's side of the family. We want to clear it lifetime after lifetime. Each soul out there, your guides and angels are going to know what they need to clear. Good. Now, Sometimes we loop in our head from our heart, causing anxiety, nervousness, unresolved situations. I don't care if they're big situations, small situations, family-related, work-related, neighbor-related. Maybe it's just some injustices you keep playing in your mind. Let's give your body, your mind, your spirit and soul as you breathe permission to let go of some of these nonsensical injustices Things we inherited genetically, cellularly, and emotionally. Yeah, sometimes we come in with savior contracts. We're gonna save all of our family, our tribe. And sometimes it's just too much for one soul. Let's give it back to those angels, guides, and committees of the light and let them take care of it. Let's give them permission to remove, reduce, and release excessive looping thoughts, anxieties, behaviors, nervousness, that keeps this beautiful body, this beautiful soul trapped, stuck, unhappy. I'm going to give you permission now. To let it go. Take another breath in. Really let it go. You don't even know, you don't even have to identify it. Just through your breath, give permission to let things go. Sometimes we have family disharmonies or disputes. Sometimes they go generation from generation. Let's stop it now. Let's give permission for each soul to let go of things that no longer resonate as a truth for you. Let it go. Don't carry the wounds of your past forward today or tomorrow. Simply let them go through your breath. You don't even have to know. Sometimes there's a lot of lies, a lot of secrets, a lot of misunderstanding. Just through this beautiful breath, give your body permission to let it go. Through that, we're gonna ask that all the looping in the mind, the spirit and the soul, stop, take a breath, and release things that no longer help you be happy, content, loving, joyful, and just inner peace and inner balance. That's what everybody's looking for. Accept it, you can have it. Doesn't matter what your past was. Then we're gonna check on um, 
maybe we have some business situations, work-related, maybe through management, co-workers, I don't really care. Let's just go in and clear all that old soul family misunderstandings, dislikes, injustices, power plays, lies. Let's clear all the perceptions and judgments and let's give our soul permission to clear up some of those energies, those thoughts, feelings, and emotions that no longer support us. Let's ask for divine intervention. I feel really good about this. So I'm gonna just check our root chakra and things are still a little high, but we're gonna, we're gonna just ask as you keep breathing in to let go. Things that are hidden, buried, covered up, we're aware of, unaware of. We're gonna ask they be released and cleared. Fear, fear is one of our biggest factors. We do genetically encode a lot of that from our mother and father, but we're not blaming them. They inherited it from their mothers and fathers. So what we wanna do on our ancestral behalf, whether it's one, 10, 20, hundreds of lifetime, we want to acknowledge all this fear. All layers, levels, lifetimes. As you breathe, you're going to give the gift to yourself and your ancestors of removing a lot of fear, programs of fear, hidden, hidden lies, patterns, and beliefs. We don't really care. We're going to give them permission to let go of that and set your intention but as you breathe in, you hold and you let go. You no longer want to hold on to it. It is no longer something you have to live with. Accept and be willing to feel internal peace, internal calmness, feel self-assured, appreciated, valued, and respected. Always. Always speak your truth. Let's clear blocks to speaking our truth. Let's clear blocks to communication. <coughs> blocks to listening and to hearing. Let's remember that just because we have an idea or a thought doesn't mean ours is always 100% for everyone. So we have to respect people, admire people for speaking their truth. If you have any kind of blocks, just breathe and clear. <coughs> so some of you out there, if you feel that you cough, you choke, let's just do a proxy and let's just clear some of these trapped emotions. Sometimes we promise we would heal this for our ancestors or our siblings or our offspring. But in truth, only we can clear it for ourselves and then those around us heal. Let's take a few more breaths and I'll let you know when this session is complete. Anything I'm aware of, unaware of, anything these bodies are aware of, unaware of, maybe they're hidden, buried, covered up, let's give permission through the breath to fill them with love, light, and forgiveness. Good, we're at 90%, so just keep breathing, relaxing, and trusting that you are an amazing soul, you are a divinely blessed soul, and you deserve love, happiness, inner peace, respect, and most of all, self-love. Thank you, please like and subscribe, and if you have a special video you'd like me to make, please text me at 520-327 4649 and just leave me a few words and we'll create a video to help you and your friends and family heal. Thank you.